Jack in Santon. You want to talk about uh, sexual abuse, particularly also the role of law enforcement. Go ahead. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, Jack. I'm well, thank you. Go ahead. I'm okay, thanks. So my main point that I want to just uh, comment about is, is the justice system within South Africa in regards to the pedophiles and all of that. So just a quick backstory: we had a close relative about two years ago being caught with child pornography and allegations of molesting children and all of that. Um, he still hasn't been sentenced. Um, he's only been sentenced in June. And the, the bargain that they came up with was, was three years house arrest. No. And so he's still allowed being on the internet, still allowed going to the shop. No, Jack. And the main thing that bothers me is he plays in a church band. No. He's still allowed going through to the church, playing in the band where children walk around freely to go to the bathrooms and play outside while the, their parents are in church. And that's my, my, main, my main concern. Is, is the fact that they've been given house arrest, not even so, jail. So this is somebody who's already been found guilty of these crimes, Jack? Yes. How yes. long ago was 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 this person convicted? Um, he was only convicted this year, but he got caught out about a year and a half ago. It took them almost a year just to arrest him. After they had video evidence, Everything like that, of that, him looking at these things. Wow, that is just extraordinary. And this is now a person under house arrest. Jack, uh, that is a shocking call, but I suppose that's exactly why this kind of thing thrives, because as you say, it isn't always taken seriously. Uh, so somebody looking at those images of um, child pornography gets house arrest. Gosh. Current events. Developing stories. Tough questions. Your voice making a difference. This is Breakfast with Bongani Bingwa.